Hey ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Elite Dangerous video here on my channel. Well this time, apart from me cinematically panning around the Iron V Megatsune, my beautiful Imperial Cutter, we are over in the Pallades sector. Well, why? You probably guessed from the thumbnail already that there's some things going down with the Thargoids. Well, in truth, as I really get sick of panning, so we're going to go back to the cockpit. We are... Coming to the aid of several stations who are experiencing major trouble right now, there's been Thargoid attacks on human stations, and well, it appears to be up to us commanders to do something about that. So, we are heading to Lehman Legacy to begin evacuation processes, or proceedings in this case. The stations have been attacked recently, they're on fire from what we've heard, they're being abandoned, so we are going to be bringing as many refugees off these vessels as we can, of these stations to rescue vessels nearby. Now, this will be my first time seeing a mega ship, one of the rescue vessels, and it'll be my first time seeing these. As I get interdicted by the military, can a cutter actually fight an interdiction? Let's try. No, come on, bank up. Let me go. Uh, Cutter is fat. Cutter cannot turn. Cutter fights interdictions very slowly. But we're trying. We appear to be succeeding, actually. There we go. Come on. Fat Cutter. Don't want to have to stop and go again. That's it. Come on. A little bit further from armor. Come on. There we go. And we're free. Screw you guys, we're going home. Well, we're onwards with our evacuation process, at least. Onwards to Lyman Legacy. Okay, so the Thargoid threat. You've not seen many interactions with me and the Thargoids on these videos because I haven't seen a point. They're on the fringe of human space, and frankly, our bases have spread out into those areas. Is it our fault? Is it their fault? I don't know. Right now, I'm letting everybody else do the science and find out how to kill them most effectively. Do I want to go out there and blow my ship up 30,000 times trying to work out exactly what weapon combination or what experimental device can best defeat the Thargoids? No, not really. I'd rather wait for somebody else to work it out and then I can use it. Much more effective. Whatever works best on the Thargoids, I strap eight of them to the cutter, or sorry, the corvette, and we go to town. Much more fun, no? Yeah, so perhaps that's me being a little cynical, but either way, we're not going to ignore the call for arms, and as you might have noticed, it's very Christmassy up here in the uh, Megatsune's Bridge. We have our... Once my actual camera decides it was to pan around, it's been weird today. We have our uh, Christmas lights on the dash and our little Christmas tree bobblehead. Either way, let's time slow down now as we arrive at Lyman. This is one of the Orbis ports, so this thing could be pretty messed up. From what I've seen of pictures, the hab rings will be damaged. There'll be external fires. The interior will be emergency lighting. This is the first time I've seen it in person, so you're going to get to see it as I do. But, yes, we're going in. We're going to pick up as many refugee or, uh, passenger loads as we can and head out to the rescue ship and try and do a couple of runs. This is one of the things I'm really enjoying about 2.4 in Elite is that they're adding more things like this in, more visible storylines, more visceral experiences to this game that makes it so exciting and makes this alien threat start to feel very real to humanity. Does this mean I'm going to cancel my exploration trip off to the far side of the galaxy? No. We'll be heading off on that soon. I just don't fancy heading off before Christmas and having a cockpit filled with Christmas decorations until March. So there is that. Either way, on a final approach now to Laman, here on the exterior of the rings. We should be in fairly soon. And we'll drop down into station 
proximity in just a few seconds time. And we'll get our first sighting of the station. Although you've already seen it because it's the thumbnail. So there's that. We'll do our best to uh, keep some suspense up because at this point I've not seen it. So I'll go back and get a thumbnail later. Just not now. Either way, in we come. Um, and Legacy. Make it to Sydney arriving to assist with evacuation efforts. Cut is fairly big. It's a great ship for doing this sort of thing. Plus, mine is still uh, equipped for our passenger missions, bulk passenger, after our last little trip of passenger money making missions. I've no idea what the payout is on these, but I'm going to try it. And this does not look. Oh, God. Yep. Uh. They done messed with this. This facility is severely compromised. Exercise extreme caution on approach. Oh my gosh. Let's take a quick look here before we actually go in and rescue anyone. Because of course I'm here to rub a neck first. Secondary hab ring is severely damaged. Solar panels are damaged and destroyed. Power must be failing. Atmospheric breaches, fire. God, that's horrendous. I'm drifting awkwardly close right now. Let's get under here and take a look. Oh my gosh, that's a clearly a force field up to prevent the fire spreading. That is severely damaged. Yeah, this station's in the process of being lost. Interesting patches of greenery you see there, actually. I just spotted that, and maybe this is a clue or something Thargoid related, but if I don't bounce off the station, that'd be nice. Look at this, external green blotching. Thargoid weaponry impacts? As sure a sign as any that there's some sort of alien interaction going on. That is not human. Right, let's get out of here and go roll in to assist. Yeah, more Thargoid blast marks just above as we saw. Alright, let's get our docking clearance. You're clear for access. Don't hang around, Commander. Okay, we're going in. There's a rescue ship heading in and out there. Let's do our best to get inside. Oh gosh, this looks crazy. Yeah, I picked a fairly big ship, and oh my god, the toast rack is messed up as well. Can I even get in there still? This is... Approach is good. Keep an eye on your temperature gauge, Commander. It's gonna get hot in there, I think. Let's get docked. Okay, where are we going to? I don't see a pad. There we go, emergency pad. What am I caught on? Uh, good job I have heat sinks, isn't it? Let's try and get down to this pad without getting caught, hung up on debris everywhere. Gears down and locked. We're coming in. Yeah, I've had to move around more than I normally would in this. To do oh, God. Something just blew. Okay, this is definitely sketchier than I thought. I need to get on this pad. Okay, starport services. Let's load up and get out of here. Contact. We're on borrowed time here, Commander. Oh. Don't stay here any longer than you have to. Right, who have we got? Uh. Okay, this is all breaking down. Uh. Okay, so we'll take you. We're taking them all. Let's get whoever we can out of here. Incoming. 
Okay, so who else has got people? Uh, they have. Can't pick them. Unfortunately, we're full. Let's get out of here. They're all unavailable. We're out of here. Let's go. Let's leave now. Because we haven't got any more heat sinks. Hopefully we can pick some more of the rescue ship. But we're getting out of this thing now. This is far sketchier than I ever imagined it would be. Yeah, power to shields. Let's try and keep some of this temperature out. Oh, jeez, there's another explosion. Let's go. We're not sticking around. We're free. Whew, that's warm in there. Full power to engine systems. Jump to cruise, and we're heading for the rescue ship. Okay, so we need to get swung around. That is really cool, Frontier. i got to say, that is really cool. Frontier have done something very exciting with that little... A small change, honestly. But it's such an atmospheric difference and such a very different experience that Elite Dangerous has never offered before. This is a lot of fun. I, I mean a lot of fun in the context that whilst this is obviously a horrific, terrible thing to happen to these people, but I wasn't even looking at the money there. I was just grabbing as many people as I could because the game made me care. The game made me want to rescue those people. The fact that my ship was overheating in a burning station. That's a little detail, but it's a mechanic they can use to make this thing feel much more interesting. Here we go, mega ship rescue station. Here we go. Let's get aboard, shall we? We're stocking. Okay, where do we board this uh, big old girl? Surface pads, I'm guessing. Where's mine, though? I'm guessing it's not those. Medical frigate here. I'm guessing we could be on the third side over here. There we go. That's our pad. Tower is there, so we're going to rotate around. Bring her into pad one. My first time docking with a spaceship. <laughs> Even though the mechanics are the same as landing on a space station, it just feels a little different. You know, this is a spaceship that we're landing aboard. Something that moves intentionally. Probably the first time I've actually had an external, space-worthy, large pad and anything. We're going back, I think, for another run or two to that station to pick up some people because I don't feel right leaving them there. Okay, we're good. Final descent. And we're in. Let's get some people dis disembarked. Refuel and restock everything. That's a good thing they've got this here. Mission board. No, that's not what we wanted. We wanted the passenger lounge. Ah, there were salvage missions as well for escape pods. Interesting. I'll have to come back and do that later. But yes, passenger missions. Let's drop these off. Oh, it's going to be one of these ones where you have to cycle through and sell the stuff they give you and then you get more of them. I love this one. Give more of these passengers in. See, it's not a huge amount of money you're getting from these things, but I don't really mind at this point. It's like 40 grand, 70 grand. If you're here to do this for money, you're not going to get much, but... You are certainly going to get a sense of satisfaction, which, to be honest, is fairly uncommon in video games these days. I went there not really sure what to expect and what that I'd be doing, but I found a scene when I arrived, and especially inside the station, that 
suddenly made me care. It gave me a sense of urgency. Um, it gave me, with the temperature, of course, it gave me a sense of things breaking down and being being quite damaged. And that was a really unique feature there. Are we all disembarked? No, we're not. Of course we're not, because the game doesn't like that bit. But it gave me a sense of, of urgency. It gave me a sense of caring for these people. A game that makes you feel urgency, a game that makes you feel concern, that's doing it right. And I've got to give FDF a hand, because this is a tiny little thing amongst the whole Thargoid storyline. But it really makes it exciting. So yeah. Thargoids. Bad. If you have a chance to come to these stations that are being attacked and that are, are being evacuated, commanders, get your ships, fit them out with economy passenger cabins, make sure you have at least four tons of cargo space available for the stuff they give you as thanks. Get out here and help. It's rewarding to do, it's fun to do, and it's very much a complete and utter change from the grind of Elite Dangerous. Yeah, sh sure, it's mechanics that you've used before, but it's a way you've never used them. So get out here. There are other systems as well. You can find those on the Elite forums. Get out here and help. Commanders, we need you. That should be a poster or something. I should make one. Either way. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.